on Thursday night protests in Buenos Aires outside Congress where lawmakers debated gas and electricity bill increases. But many here were also protesting the week's shock news. He decidido iniciar conversaciones con el Fondo Monetario Internacional. President Mauricio Macri announced on Tuesday that Argentina would seek credit from the International Monetary Fund for the first time since the country's economic crash 17 years ago. It is the cheapest finance we have available. The IMF loans at rates which are lower than the market. International rates have gone up. The Argentine government is requesting an IMF standby credit line, reportedly $30 billion, as a preventative measure to steady the economy. This comes after a run on the peso, which has lost nearly a quarter of its value against the dollar in the last 12 months. But many Argentines blame the IMF for its role in the implementation of an austerity package in the 1990s, which led to widespread unemployment and pushed millions into poverty, and which culminated with the economic, social and political crisis of 2001-2002. A widely quoted survey this week found 75% of Argentines disapprove of the government going to the IMF. And the survey showed a full two-thirds of people who voted for Macri disapprove of the decision. Fernando Solanas is a filmmaker and senator. In 2004, he released a documentary about Argentina's 2001 economic crisis. He says the IMF was implicated in that crisis. When you ask for a credit, in this case a standby credit from the IMF, we know it comes with a series of strict measures. They don't just give you the credit and you receive the money. Greater fiscal austerity, closing the fiscal deficit, which means reducing public spending, more job losses, less public works. So these are recessive and austerity programs. Mauricio Macri won the presidency in 2015 on the pro-business platform to get Argentina's economy in shape and his government has pursued gradual shifts. But the unpopular decision to return to the IMF could lead to even more unpopular economic decisions. Joel Richards, CGTN, Buenos Aires.